Keeping up with the Kardashian takes on a whole new meaning for the family's hired help. You guys, I don't have a nanny anymore. What? Today, we'll be investigating the lives of their nannies and we'll uncover the fine print in their job description. The audition process. To become a part of the Kardashians inner circle, you have to do a lot more than just handing in your resume. Before anything, the nannies have to get an extensive background check to make sure they don't end up with a Fran Drescher type who falls in love with the head of the house. After multiple rounds of interviews of being strictly vetted, the chosen few candidates must undergo an audition in front of the family to make sure they're the right fit. They are evaluated for their personality, intelligence, and even sense of style. If they make it through this, it's just the beginning of the challenges they must face. The kids must be dressed to impress. As we all know, getting a kid ready in the morning is a challenge, but for the children of the Kardashian family, it's on a whole new level. Not only do the children have to be well-groomed and put together, they also have to be wearing the latest brands and trends to upkeep their fashion icon status. Because the parents are often releasing new lines of clothing, the kids act as little walking advertisements. On top of that, the girls often look like miniature copies of their mothers, so the nanny must take into account that they're also striving to dress a fleet of mini-me's. By signing on to this job, they're also signing on to be part-time stylists. They can't wear jewelry. In 2016, Kim experienced a traumatic experience that would change her life forever. While visiting Paris, her sisters went out for a night on the town and she decided to spend the night alone in her hotel. And then I saw two guys holding another guy down. They tied her up with plastic cables, taped her hands and legs, and robbed her of her diamond ring and other expensive jewelry. In total, she said they took around $5 million worth of her items. Ever since the traumatic experience, she has been cautious about flaunting her riches, and as a result, when her nannies are on the job, she instructs them not to wear jewelry should they become a target. All work, no play. As soon as the nannies sign their contracts, they are basically signing up to live a life where total availability is paramount and freedom is non-existent. There is no steady schedule and therefore they must be prepared to drop everything last minute should they be needed. If they've got plans, tough luck. The Kardashians come first. No photos, please. For a family that is so heavily photographed, you might be surprised to hear that the nannies themselves are strictly forbidden to take photos of the children. No pictures. If they had any unsightly pictures on their phone and it was leaked to the press, they could have a field day. Say a child was acting out or there was a video of one of the parents scolding the kids and it was taken out of context. The media would eat it up and publish it on every gossip column they could get their hands on. Therefore, the parents make sure that they have complete control over who takes the photos and how they get used. Walk the walk. One of the strangest rules that Kim has for her entourage is that they must be instructed where to walk when they're in public. Imagine first getting the squad washed, dressed, and fed, and then told that while walking from point A to point B, you also have to make sure they stay in line. It truly sounds like something out of The Sound of Music. Rumor has it that she likes her squad to make a V formation behind her so that she can remain the center of attention at all times. Passion for fashion. While we know the kids have to look their best at all times, the nannies are no exception. Through all the chaos of juggling the family's wild schedules and wrangling the children, they must maintain a high standard of fashion and always be presentable. After all, while they're not center stage and getting all the attention, they still end up photographed by proxy and must represent the family at all times. Zip thy lip. While it may seem like we have total access to everything that happens in the lives of the Kardashians, what with them constantly posting on every social media platform imaginable, there is a lot going on behind the scenes that the family would rather the press didn't get their hands on. Therefore, before accepting the position, each nanny must sign a confidentiality agreement stating that they will keep their lips zipped. They must agree that anything they see, hear, or witness while working for the family stays within the mansion walls. Payment. Kylie Jenner is en route to becoming the youngest self-made billionaire ever. After launching her cosmetic line, she made a handsome $360 million in sales over the course of only one year. Her sister Kim is not doing too bad for herself either. It is estimated that after the success of her KKW beauty line, Kim's net worth equaled around $370 million. We can safely say that all five sisters are doing pretty okay for themselves and are sitting pretty with their accumulated wealth. So knowing this, you would assume that the nannies make a pretty penny working for these women, right? As it turns out, there has been some speculation over how much the hired help actually gets paid at the end of the day. 
after the Institute of Global Labor and Human Rights launched an investigation over the clothing lines K-Dash, Shoe Dazzles, and the Kris Jenner collection and discovered that the workers were being paid less than 10 cents per garment, we're at the very least skeptical about the nanny's salaries. Be on call 24-7. As we know, to be a Kardashian nanny means having an unpredictable schedule, but it's actually worse than that. They must be available around the clock. If they're living in the house like any nanny, they have to be prepared to answer to the kids waking up at night, so therefore never get a truly restful sleep. Rise and shine. In the morning, they have to be up before anyone else rises so that they are prepared for what's to come. If they're off-site, they must have their phones on them at all times and be ready to go when it rings. Like a Boy Scout, they must always be prepared. Maintain distance. Although the nannies spend endless amounts of time with the children, they must be careful to remain a respectful distance to the family. The Kardashians value their personal space and privacy above all else and need to be seen as the boss. Although the nannies undoubtedly develop close personal relationships with the parents and their children, they have to be careful not to cross the line. They have to make sure that the kids don't favor them over their parents and must be aware that even though they have been accepted into their intimate space, it still doesn't mean that they're actually part of the family. At the end of the day, they're still employees, and the Kardashians won't let them forget it. Don't forget the pets. On top of attending to the children and their endless list of needs, the nannies are also in charge of pet care. This includes feeding, walking, and making sure they are well-groomed just in case Kylie needs a close-up with her Italian greyhound, Normie. Kim and Courtney have pups from the same litter which they gave to their daughters, making sure to keep everything in the family. Because the Kardashians seem to keep adding to their collection of furry friends, the nanny must be adaptable to this rotating cast of characters. While this must be a total handful, at least they don't have to take care of Kendall's snake. Keep up. Not only do the nannies have to change diapers and be a human snack bag, they also have to make sure the kids are well behaved during interviews, premieres, and photo shoots. There are countless highly broadcasted events that the children must attend, and it's up to the nannies to keep everyone in line. The family also hosts numerous glamorous parties, which takes all hands on deck. Whether it's their yearly Christmas soiree or a big budget baby shower, the Kardashians need someone who can keep up with the madness and be ready for anything. Strange requests. We all know that some of the Kardashian women have diva tendencies, which might mean the nannies have to cater to their every mood, but on top of that, they must be prepared for strange requests. Guys, I don't have a nanny anymore. What? It could be a late night food run of something highly specific and hard to find that one of the kids is craving, or it could mean using your arm as a testing palette for Kylie's new makeup. We know that on Kanye's writer, he has requests ranging from having Carmex chapstick to sun-kissed salted pistachios, so we can only imagine what he wants at home. During his St. Pablo tour, Kim posted a photo of alcohol-infused slushy machines in his dressing room, and we can only assume that his strange tastes and requests get even weirder in the privacy of his home. Be clean. If you're working for Kylie Jenner, you better be on your A-game. She is a known germaphobe, so the nannies must wash their hands frequently and make sure Stormy follows suit. Apparently, when her daughter was born, she had a very strict guest list of people who were allowed to visit. She was insistent that everyone around her was healthy as a horse to ensure Stormy wouldn't catch anything. We wouldn't be surprised if part of her nanny's uniform was wearing a utility belt prepped with hand sanitizer and wet wipes. Fly sky high. While at first it might seem glamorous to board a private jet and accompany the families on vacation, for the nannies, there is no relaxing getaway. Before the holiday begins, they must help everyone pack their multiple suitcases and double-check that nothing is missing. Unlike being at home where everything they might need is a call away, when abroad, they must be extra prepared and get the lay of the land just in case someone might need something they forgot at home. Though they get to travel to exotic places, they are the ones that must run the ship while the clan soaks up the sun. Be formal. If you think that working with the Kardashians will mean that you will become friends with your employers, think again. In an interview, an ex-nanny discussed her relationship with her old boss, Courtney, and revealed that she had to call her madam at all times. She admitted that once she slipped up and Courtney threw a hissy fit. She must have learned to act this way by watching her mother treat the nanny similarly. Ex-nanny Pam Behan gave an interview talking about how it was working for Kris Jenner, and it revealed how strenuous it was for her shocking some of the things that they say and do. She talked of her uncontrollable temper and even recounted a story where Chris cussed her out for forgetting broccoli. It looks like the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Be prepared to take the fall. 
To the Kardashians, reputation is everything. One wrong move and their names will be dragged all over Hollywood and back. When things go awry, often nannies are used as scapegoats and are blamed for things in order to take the heat off the family members. If a child is misbehaving and is photographed, the help will be held responsible so that no one accuses the Kardashians of bad parenting. Letting go. As any nanny experiences, it is extremely hard to help raise a child and then have to let go when the child has grown. Sure, they might eventually get a wedding invite down the line, but after putting their own life on hold and shaping the kid's life at the early stages, the nanny has an expiration date. They work day and night to shape the kids into the people they will become, but at the end of the day, they need to let go. No claim to fame. After all of this, you would think that the hired help would get some chance at seeing the spotlight, but this isn't the case. The Kardashians like to keep the help out of the frame, maybe to convince the audience that they are more capable of handling everything than they really are. We never see how much sweat and tears go into helping maintain the household and never truly know their struggle. That is, until now. We hope this brought a little insight into the lives of the people who make our favorite reality TV show a reality. Out of all of these rules, which do you think would be the hardest to follow? Was there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to The Taco for more.